Welcome back to Blue Brand Sushi Live. Today I'm going to be doing 3D therapy using Bloom 3D. So this app is a 3D app, really simple one that works on your website. Uh, I'm using Safari on Mac. And this actually works on Safari and also it works on, that means it works on the, on the iPad. I have the iPad here. And I recommend you to use something like the iPad or another tablet. Uh, just because it's a lot more intuitive. I mean on the desktop it works like uh, I will show you okay first of all right mouse button is to tumble and then scroll <coughs> scroll is to go ups and down like this or if you hold control it's gonna be zoom if you hold shift it's gonna be left and right if it's on the iPad it's, uh, it's much simpler because you just use uh, your finger you use your finger to orbit and then zoom in zoom out using your finger as well and you just you can move around and it's a lot faster this way so i'm going to be probably doing the uh, using the ipad i'm using it in the portrait mode because i think that's the way it's it was designed for for this small ipad anyway so the idea is just you have this rectangle to start with and you have a, a few options um, up there there's another rectangle tool, so you can definitely draw another rectangle, like so. And so you work with point, edge, or faces, right? Uh, by default, you can see four rectangle, and then I will switch to the second tool, which is extrude. So this will actually extrude the rectangle and turning it into a box, okay? So you can do it a couple of times and then it is actually quite flexible. So you can do like a non-manifold type of thing, just similar to Blender. You can actually extrude inside. Blender actually does this a little bit better. If you push it in, it doesn't create a polygon inside. So maybe. I should have used blender but i just want to show show this to you and the nice thing however of course yeah we can use line and we can draw line very easily and it's usually gonna snap so you draw line it's gonna create a closed shape you can draw another line and then you extrude so it's super simple the the non x the extrude non-manifold yeah, it's uh, it's probably still better inside Blender, but the fact that you are doing it on the iPad is kind of neat. Sometimes you want to do this kind of thing on your sofa. Uh, normally, I use Shaper 3D. That's also really good. It's really powerful 3D app actually for doing CAD. But yeah, this is just another another 3D app. You can colorize area like this so you are given like a palette and you can color colorize the face of the polygon so it's a it's very arty kind of tool this is still work in progress maybe the developer will continue adding features make maybe like the the manifold or non-manifold a little bit better because we sometimes we want to push in Um, yeah, I think if I'm not wrong, you can also, if you extrude on the edge, it's gonna draw the result on the edge like that. So let me try again. Sometimes it's actually creating the split. So I'm drawing it diagonally like that and then I can extrude. So this is more like kind of like extrude exercise right if you are just on the ipad you, you can actually export this to another app like nomad sculpt just to give it like uv um yeah pretty simple app okay the oh yeah the move tool i almost forgot we have the move tool we have rectangle line extrude and move move tool yeah, it gives you extra possibilities. 
so instead instead of everything just super square and boxy you can start to move things around and you you might end up with some non-manifold face so it, it cannot draw the face if it's too uh, non-manifold Man non-manifold is when there is no clear design whether it is like a flat or diagonal it's just a single face normally planar I mean the, the face should be either flat or diagonal but it cannot be too crazy where all the, the three points is a little bit out of whack like that so it's if you do that it's gonna turn into just a simple line like that so because it's it's gonna be it's already like it's non planar so it's just it's gonna create the wireframe which is not a not a bad idea it's interesting that it's like that okay so anyway we create something like this and yeah um, we can download it on the iPad it's called download and we're gonna download it as obj or gltf either way it's gonna be fine gltf glb and we can now export it into a Mac okay so inside a Mac we can bring it into blender glb downloads and there you go so you can see the um, the bloom when bloom 3d exporting the 3d model you actually given two different surface the actual wireframe and then the surface and this guy doesn't have thickness sometimes it maybe you want to add some solidify and take, make some kind of thickness this is you can use you can use simple or complex I think simple is fine just to add some kind of thickness if you need to check the face orientations now it's totally all blue and so it's good we probably don't have proper UV on these objects if you want to do like some painting um, at this point so it's you either solidify or you can try to do remesh it's gonna remesh the thing if, if it has like a volume so solidify add some thickness and then remesh that's a good idea now we have like a proper surface for everything right click convert everything to mesh get rid of all the modifier we still have the bloom line line uh, lines wireframe objects and also we have other thing like okay extra cube camera and light okay that doesn't matter so at this point you can actually switch to sculpting if you want to do like additional sculpting so I'm sculpting yeah, sculpting by hold, holding control so you can if you want to make like a like a emboss type of thing this is a this could be pretty fun exercise just adding this type of design we are not adding any details unless you are using dynamic sculpt but this is fun happy face right click shade smooth if you want to smooth the objects so we still definitely don't have anything we don't have any painting or anything no materials you can add material and start doing painting if you have UV so let's save this very quickly random 
creation. And yeah, you can, I think with Blender 3.3, .3, you can start using Vertex Paint to draw or you, inside sculpt mode, we have, we have this Vertex coloring to do painting. Okay, so yeah, this is where it gets a little bit more fun. If you're using something like Procreate, you get this type of speed on that app to do like 3D painting. Blender one is a lot simpler, but still, because this is like really fast on your computer. Um, so you can still, you know, use this methods just to do like a painting but you just yeah you paint and then you hold shift and then to just blur it 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 has a nice feeling about it like a like a watercolor and this is drawing it on a vertex color and be, you need to bake it into uv texture if you want to actually export it out um unless you yeah if you want to you turn it into AR USDZ for example. But yeah, this is it's pretty fun. Right click to change the radius also. Oh uh, you can I believe you can what's the I usually just use right click and then change the radius and strength and the color as also. It could could be anything. It could be like a like a like a playground or a house you're building. And if you want just for fun cloth filter inflate it it looks like a pillow now so I inflate it and then I move it back to the left so it has this balloony kind of design uh, I don't know maybe you maybe you don't like it maybe you, you want to keep it like before everything is too balloony now this is kind of nice Okay, back to object mode. Bloom 3D lines, this we can make, just give it a new material. Okay, could be, originally it was this black color, maybe like metallic silver. Give it some light. This is the light from Bloom 3D. Okay, so yeah, it's a super simple exercise. Uh, one thing that Bloom 3D probably cannot do is uh, to make a cut cutout inside. If you are actually doing this using Shaper, another app. With Shaper, things might be a little bit, uh, the tool is more complex, but you're still doing like a sketch. Um, I can start with rectangle maybe, and I can do lines. On the iPad, it's very easy to draw lines and then actually draw an arc on On the Mac, it's, a, it's more like click, click, and try to draw shapes just not not too bad yeah you're basically okay just drawing shapes and then of course you do extrude so the next tool is normally extrude on the iPad on the iPad, is, this is also like a 
very much like a hands-on operation so it's really really delightful to use if you're using the iPad okay the nice thing about Shaper Shaper 3D you can you can actually uh, start to use the tools like um, what is it called? Not shell, chamfer, bevel, right? You can do bevel. Oh, chamfer or fillet. If you click on the edge, you have this tool just allowing you to do the rounding. So this is really advantage, the advantage of Shaper. Offset. Offset actually works really well. And on top of that, um, you can easily make a hole. Yeah. So you can double click. Oh, actually click on this area I want to do like sketch now we are on the face can draw the face like that go out and then now I can push this all the way just like box cutter and then create rounding so again select a face do a sketch maybe yeah, just draw something simple top view quick offset and do the roundings definitely more involved but if you're doing this on the iPad also this is uh, quite easy to use you can create a design very quickly and then if you're happy you file export it um, as STL low resolutions you don't need to go pro if you go pro you pay uh, you get a higher resolution just use uh, just save it as test 2 and save it on the desktop make it to blender file import STL another design you can now remesh the object apply okay again it's like a super high resolution mesh you can actually do in like like a proper remesh or just redraw it um, but you cannot do same thing again, cloth filter and then inflate. Just uh, I just like to make like a like a balloony type of design. And yeah, the same thing. Color. Uh, where's color? Paint. Right click, select a color, like bright color. See, see how fast this is. This is just like a inside Procreate on the iPad. And you can do whatever to this. So this is the 3D therapy for today. I actually, yeah, the balloony design is not 
it's not bad you know it's a uh, still kind of fun to have this type of balloony design even though i don't know maybe you're designing like a like like i said like a playground so I, i'm gonna do the same thing cloth filter just bloat it a little bit and push it back maybe yeah uh, so yeah hopefully this is kind of <clears throat> useful and interesting um uh, again it's like a random 3d therapy thanks for the app like bloom 3d it's a uh, it's just becoming very easy to do this type of 3d things um of course bloom is not like a wings 3d it's not that complicated type of software you can do extrude you cannot probably do like in things like inset like inside blender uh, you can do the same thing inside blender but uh, just it's using a bit more brain power uh, but this is much simpler you, you can do it while sleeping in the sofa so bloom 3d shaper 3d also this is kind of this is really powerful app that you can do while sleeping in the on the sofa and then you can bring it into blender and turn it into 3d objects and then you can export it out all right so yeah, hopefully you find this useful. Thanks again for tuning in and I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.